Good day, Fat Peters. Peters. I'm Mom Dana. And I'm Sir Derek. And today, we will show you how to conduct fitness test assessment. But remember, before that, make sure that you have your water and towel. Of course, timer. Yes, and ano pa ba? Um, syempre, enough space to move freely. Yes, tama yan, Sir Derek. And of course, uh, Fat Peters, you have to read the fitness testing protocols found in our module before you conduct this fitness assessment, okay? So, let's go! Let's start it! Kung wala kayong plyometric box, pwede naman yung hagdan nyo dyan sa bahay ninyo. Or kung wala kayong hagdan, magkatot kayo ng kahoy or um, wooden. Um, anything na kahoy na merong at least taas na 4 to 6 inches, pwede na yun. O kayo naman kung wala pa din kayong kahoy or hagdan, pwede yung upuan na meron kayo dyan sa bahay ninyo. Okay? So, for the, uh, also you will be needing a timer for this one kasi... Uh, we, we, we will be um, recording for ilang minutes niyo siya gagawin. Okay? So, um, for the action, for the starting position, you will be facing the back or yung hagdan or yung wood na meron kayo dyan. Facing anatomical position. And then, for the first action, you have to step up your right foot and then followed by your left foot. Step up your right foot and then your left foot. And then step back your right foot from the original position or starting position, and then your left foot. So step up, step up, step down, step down. So that makes one cycle. So that means there are four actions in one cycle. So you will be doing this in three minutes. So sa loob ng three minutes na yon, regardless kung naka sixty steps kayo or whatsoever. Basta 3 minutes siya. Okay? After 3 minutes, you will be recording your pulse. So, another 1 minute to record your pulse or heart rate. Okay? So, alam niyo na kung paano mag-record ng pulse rate. Just uh, make sure na yung tumitibok dyan sa may pulso ninyo or sa wrist ninyo, yun yung i-record ninyo. Okay? Bawal kung uh, tsambahan yung uh, pulse rate. Okay? So, that's it. And for our next exercise, we're going to do the sit-ups. For the equipments, we need to prepare our mat. Or kung wala naman, just get a bar. Or make sure na yung ating surface or ang ating floor ay merong smooth na surface. And without any obstruction. Okay? For the first movement, we need to lay down our back on the floor. And uh, flex our knees. 90 degrees, make sure that our foot touches the floor. Cross our arms into our chest and fingers uh, near to our shoulder. Okay? And try to raise your trunk, place your crossed arms close to your knees and moving backward to the original position. Remember, don't let your upper back touches the ground. And whenever you, uh, you pose or stop moving uh, sit-ups, that will be the end of your counting. Okay? Moving forward for another floor exercise, let's talk about the push-ups. In this exercise, our body should be 
in a prone position or yung tinatawag natin na nakadapa. Our face facing the ground and our hand beside our chest moving away, not too, too long or too wide, but at least uh, beside to our chest and keep our feet and hand to the ground. Okay, so push our body away from the ground like you're just pushing the wall. Hang there. Make sure that our shoulder, back, hips, and knees are aligned together. And then moving again to original position. It doesn't matter if your chest touches the ground. Or if you can do it, make sure na hindi masyadong mataas yung inyong chest sa ground. Okay? Do it continuously as much as you can. Alright? Remember, hindi mahalaga na marami kang nagawa pero mali naman yung position or mali yung iyong posture. We're looking forward for a proper posture doing this exercise. Okay? I know you can do it. So our next exercise would be sit and reach. For this exercise, you will be needing any flat surface or a floor with a wall on the side. So ibig sabihin, you can use sa bahay ninyo yung dingding ninyo as, as long as you have a tape measure fastened on it. Okay? So for the starting position, you have to uh, raise your arms upward and your fingertips overlapping your legs with a 30 centimeter distance from each other and your back head or your back and your head should be placed against the wall. Okay? So that would be your starting position. So for the action, the first action would be um, raising your arm, reach the floor as far as you could. Okay? And then the tester or your assistant will measure how far did you reach. Okay? And then move your arms to the starting position. That's it. And you have to repeat this action for another two. Okay, so it means that you have to do this three times. And for the last time or the last repetition, you must hold the position for two or three seconds before you uh, move back to your starting position. So, um, what will be the measurement or what will be the score? So, the score that we will be getting is the farthest measurement. So, for example, for the three uh, repetitions, you got 133 centimeter, 130 centimeter, 120 centimeter. So, the um, the greater or the greatest measurement that you got, that will be your score. Okay. All right. For our fifth exercise, we will be doing the zipper test. So you only need a tape measure for this one. And reminder, you also need, um, aside from the tape measure, you also need an assistant who will measure or who will look on the measurement of your exercise. So the starting position for this one is um, standing erect or the anatomical position, hands on your side and um, feet flat on the floor. Okay? So the first movement would be raise your right arm upward and then flex your elbow towards your back. So your palm resting on your neck, okay? And then your left hand should be flexing or you should reach your left arm towards the back, towards the back. And then your palm should be facing away from your body. Okay, your right palm should be facing your back and then your left arm should be facing away from your body. Your middle fingers should um, overlap or kung hindi nyo kayang mag-overlap kasi medyo masakit, okay lang yun. Okay? So the assistant will be measuring the finger that overlap. So kung hindi nag-overlap, nag-touch lang, okay lang yun. So kung ganito lang siya, okay lang yun. Okay? May score tayo para doon. And then, if kung ilan yung centimeter or yung inches na, na measure ng assistant ninyo, that will be recorded on your test. Okay? So, 
that's it. You have to do it on the other arm. So starting with the left arm, raise upward and then flex your elbow, palm uh, resting on the neck and then your right arm reaching out on your back and then the same thing. Okay? So um, both of your right and your left should be measured and should be recorded on your fitness testing board. That's it. Alright, we're done for our sixth exercise of our fitness test assessment. And the name of this exercise is hexagon. So what do we need for this exercise? We will be needing meter stick and masking tape. So if you don't have masking tape or sa inyong mga bahay, any tape uh, will do. And kung wala rin kayong meter stick, tape measure, meron kayo, okay lang din yon. Okay, so for this one, speaking of hexagon, Yes, you will be making a hexagon shape. Okay, so it should have six sides. So for each side or each line, it should have 65 centimeters na measurement. Okay, bawal sumobra, bawal ding kumula. Okay, so for the starting position, you have to stand on the center of the hexagon. And then you should face the side F. So side A, B, C, D, E. F, kung kayo nakaharap. Okay? And after that, you have to jump on side A and then jump back to the center. Jump back, jump to the side B and then back to the center and then C, center B, center E, center F, center. So, you have to repeat the action for three times or tatlong ikot. So, pag natapos nyo yun, to record nyo na time, that will be your score. But, if you were able to touch the line, 0.5 seconds will be added sa time ninyo. Okay? So, sana, we hope that you will not touch the line or if in case you were able to touch the line, at least one or two times or three times maximum lang matouch yung line. But, if you were able to skip any side of the hexagon, so for example, you jump from side A and then back to the center and then proceed kayo sa C, side C agad. So na-skip nyo yung side B. So additional one second will be uh, added sa time ninyo. Okay? So kung ilang beses nyo yung nagawa, ganun kadami yung ma-add na seconds sa time ninyo. But we hope na malesen yung pag-skip. So at least maximum na yung two times na skip. Okay? So you have uh, to rest for about three minutes or two minutes before you proceed to the counterclockwise. So gagawin nyo yung um, hexagon ng pa-counterclockwise naman. Three times ulit yun. So same rules, pag na-touch or pag na-skip, ganun pa din yung ma-add sa timing. Okay? Important note, rest before you proceed to counterclockwise. Alright, for a second to the last exercise for fitness test assessment, that would be stork stand. So we only need stopwatch or timer for this exercise. So your standing, your starting position would be um, anatomical position. Okay, standing erect, hands on side. Okay, so your right leg or your right foot, you should raise it and uh, put it on the back of your left knee. Your, again, your right foot should be put on your on the back of your left knee. And then your hands should be um, raised uh, parallel to your shoulder. Palm facing the ground. Okay? So, raise your uh, left heel. So, you should be standing on your toes. Okay? Or on your toe. Left toe. So, your assistant will record the time. So, you can stand as long as you want. So, if in case you drop or you touch your right foot on the ground or on the floor, the time will stop and that will be your score. Okay? So, the rules for that, in case you uh, lose your balance, your time will stop. Okay? So you will also do it on the left side. Left foot should be put 
on the, on the back of your right knee. Then the same position of the arm, palm facing the ground, arms parallel to your shoulder, okay? And then stand on your toe, right toe. And then the time will be recorded in case you lose your balance or you uh, touch your uh, right or your left foot on the ground, the time will stop and that will be your score. Okay, that's it. All right, we're down to our last exercise of our fitness test assessment. And this exercise is called drunk lift. So you will be needing tape measure or meter stick for this one. And you also need assistance from someone who will measure your drunk lift. Okay, so for the starting position, we are, uh, uh, we should be doing prone lying position. So nakadapa tayo, face and body facing the ground. Okay, and your hands are under your hips or your thighs. Okay, so first action would be lift your upper body off the ground. So iaangat ninyo yung upper body ninyo galing sa ground using the muscles on the back. Okay? And then your assistants will measure kung ilan yung um, length from the ground sa inyo to your chin. Okay? From the ground to your chin. So, um, after that, go or move your body to the starting position. Okay? So, remember, you have to hold the position when you lift your body or your upper body off the ground, you have to hold your position for 2 or 3 seconds para ma-measure ng assistant ninyo kung ilan yung naabot ninyo. Okay? Same thing with um, the sit and reach. You uh, can do this exercise for 3 times and kung ano yung pinakamataas na nakuha ninyong score, that will be recorded. Okay? So, that's it. Excellent job, Pat Peters! First of all, we would like to congratulate you for finishing our fitness test assessment. How about you, Ma'am Dana? Anong masasabi mo sa ating mga sadyante? Ako gusto ko lang sabihin sa mga PATI students natin na regardless kung isang repetition lang or marami man kayong repetition na nagawa, so long that you, do, you did it in a proper way and okay na yun. So for now, uh, stay tuned for our next activity because marami pa tayong mga gagawing physical activities. For now, See you! See you.